In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to download and install MQTT Explorer. And then later I would show you how to use this MQTT Explorer as a MQTT client to talk to MQTT server. So you can see we have to visit this official web page that's a mqtt-explorer.org. And if you browse this web page, then you have to scroll down till you see there's a download platform. So if you are using Windows, Mac or Ubuntu or any sort of Linux, then you have all this installer here. So I'm using this Windows machine here, Windows 11. So I'm going to click on this installer to download this MQTT Explorer software. So let me click and you can see on a top right corner it already started downloading MQTT Explorer. As you can see now download is completed. So I'm going to click on this folder I can show in the folder and then I have this MQTT Explorer what you can say installer. So double click on it. So this will run the executable and it is already started installing the MQTT Explorer. So you can see on a top left corner here Windows shortcut here and you can see the MQTT Explorer is already installed installed here on my machine. To test this MQTT Explorer and to learn how to use this MQTT Explorer, we have to connect to the MQTT server. And the most common MQTT server I use is a Mosquito client. So you can see here on a connections, there's a mqtt.eclipse.org. This is one MQTT server. The, the other one is the test.mosquito.org. So I'm just selecting this mqtt.eclipse.org and I'm going to delete this. And now I have only test.mosquito.org. This is the only MQTT uh, server that I have right now and you can see the MQTT protocol and the MQTT server test.mosquito.org the MQTT port is 1883 so I'm going to click on save and then I will going to click on connect and uh, if the server exists you can see there's a lot of things that is coming up and this basically uh, shows that this MQTT uh, client, MQTT Explorer connects to the MQTT server. Now I'm going to click on this disconnect button on the top right corner because I don't want to run anything, okay? So there you have something called advanced option, right? You can see this gear icon here, so click on advanced. And you can see there are two topics which are already subscribed here. So I'm going to click on this dustbin uh, delete button here. And you can see now I don't have any uh, topic subscribed to the MQTT server. So basically I'm going to uh, create my own topic and uh, that I'm going to subscribe into this MQTT Explorer. And then I will going to uh, test this with other MQTT client whether I could able to receive this messages, right? So let's say I create device slash umesh slash data. Okay, so this is the custom MQTT topic. Uh, that I want to subscribe to into this MQTT Explorer uh, client. So let me click on add button and you can see now the topic is already added into the MQTT Explorer so that we are interested in subscribing to this topic. Okay, so this is done then click on back button and then click on save. So this MQTT Explorer is configured to connect to the test mosquito.org MQTT server on 1883 port and it is subscribed to um, device slash umesh slash data topic so let me click on save and click on connect again and you can see the mqtt explorer is connected to mqtt server because it says uh, on a top right corner when i click on this icon it says connection health is online so you can see and the test.mosquito.org this is the server that is where our mqtt explorer is connected to now to perform the test we have to open up one online tool it's called test client hyphen cloud dot mqtt dot cool so this is very cute online tool very very bare minimum and i love this so but we have to configure this online tool in order to test our mqtt explorer mqtt client so click on this gear icon here and you can see the protocol is tcp we are okay with this the host the server for us is a test dot mosquito dot org make sure you don't make any spelling mistake and then the port is 1883 uh, the username and password we don't care because we didn't have set up with our server so click on save so this mqtt test client will uh, talk to our test mosquito server so click on save and uh, it has to come green but it doesn't come green so let's click on this gear icon again and check the spelling test dot mosquito q u i t t o dot o r g 1883 looks fine so what's the problem nothing let me click on here nothing fine let me click on connect again and now you can see i don't know why the crazy didn't connect at the first place but now it's connected it says green 
color icon here that means this uh, test mqtt client is connected to our test mosquito server so here you can see there's a subscription section and there's a publish uh, section so if i subscribe to device slash umesh slash data so this is the topic that we have subscribed uh, on mqtt explorer so click on um, uh, subscribe here and uh, once we subscribe you can see subscribe topic is device slash umesh slash data now i go to mqtt explorer and you can see here under publish section uh, there's a space where i can just type the topic device slash umesh slash data and here is a message that i can type so whatever the message that i want to publish hello from hello from binary updates dot com I'm making a lot of spelling mistakes today, but this is the message. This is the message that I want to publish. So let me click on publish. So this message will publish onto this topic. And now if I go to my online tool and you can see I have this message received hello from binaryupdates.com. And now if I want to publish from this test client, then I'm going to publish onto this device slash umesh slash data topic. So let me paste this topic here into the publish section and uh, then the, I have to type the message that I want to send best embedded system and IOT courses right so let me click on publish so it will send it to the test uh, Mosquito server and then it will send it back to our MQTT Explorer. So let me minimize this and you can see here on MQTT Explorer I have received the message here device. So let me expand you can see umesh and if you expand you can see The data is based embedded courses and IOT courses right embedded systems and IOT courses So this is how you will going to publish and subscribe the MQTT topics uh, using MQTT Explorer and MQTT test client I hope now you know how you can publish and subscribe the MQTT topic using MQTT Explorer. I have already made a video where I talked about what is MQTT protocol and how it works. I have explained what is topic, what is payload, what is publish and what is subscribe. So I have given the link in the video description. Please go ahead and check this video if you want to learn more. Now to disconnect our MQTT client, that's our MQTT Explorer from our MQTT test client, that's a testmosquito.org. We have to click on this disconnect button on the top right corner. So we click on that and it will disconnect our mqtt server with our mqtt client mqtt explorer the same goes with our online tool which is a test mqtt client if we click on the top right corner this red button so when we click on that it will disconnect our mqtt uh, client from our mqtt server now you can click on this gear icon and you can do your settings whatever you want to change here Similarly with our MQTT Explorer client, we have to go to this advanced settings and you can change anything. You can change its name, custom name. You, you can give any name you like. You can either give the name of the server. So let me copy this. Control C and then I can open the command prompt. And if I ping testmosquito.org minus to get the IP address and the IPv4 so this is the IP address I if if I can copy this IP address okay and instead of this host uh, the name test.mosquito.org if I can put the IP address it still will work let me show you save and connect and you can see it is connected now okay so if I go to the MQTT uh, test client uh, the online test client here again I will put the IP address instead of name test.mosquito.org click on save this button doesn't work right once we put the IP address then we have to click on this connect button and you can see now the server now the test client is connected to the MQTT server right so it doesn't matter you put the name or you put uh, the number it's all looks absolutely fine okay I hope you get my point right so let me click on this disconnect button and uh, i'm going to click on disconnect again okay if you want to learn more about mqtt protocol and iot platform related video lessons then please check the link in the video description i have already covered many of such a topics in greater details thank you very much for watching this video and we'll see us into the next video bye, -bye for now